Yeah, definitely. Because of the fact that they have this late game scaling, and they also have Wave Player. In fact, and they also have Frontliner. So it's almost spelling you like scaling for Blackness International. That's all they want. Ooh. I love it. I love it. It's time for. Jump right into the games. Okay, now we need to talk a little bit more from the drafts in the early phase. Like we mentioned, BTK, they need to get this snowball going, man. They have the winning lane at the bottom side. All of the things we mentioned for this BTK team to be able to maximize their playstyle, they have it right now. A winning lane, winning mid lane, and that early aggression from the jungle. So let's see what they can do with this. Mm, yep, I'm, I'm very curious to see how they're going to play this little Wanderer side as Karina did start on the purple buff and immediately Wise is able to get priority over it because he was closest to it. So yep. those precious few seconds missed opportunity, but that's generally fine as BTK. They want to take it slow for now. Level 4 is going to be when things are going to happen. Now BTK straight up, they want to snowball for the side of Blacklist International. They can't really drag this game so as far as they wanted to. Because if you're looking at BTK, they drafted a line up that will not be, yeah, like on a st strategical standpoint, will not be good against Blacklist International. This is besides the point of oh. the fact that they're not that scaling. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's that wide chicken domination here, using the early levels as much as they can as Mobazane and Truck, making sure that he is going to have a good laning phase. And I think that's relatively important as Oh My Venus now going to get pushed back in as they get control over the mid lane at the same time. I like how Fire Chicken is playing this lane. Look at that. He's actually um, making a freeze for himself in that bottom side, making Lunox miss so much from that recall. And that's just really great. Uh, right now, it is actually going to be Fire Chicken with a, a slight XP advantage for now. Well, for now, let's see how this is going to play out as we get closer towards that level 4 end. Turtle Shark is going to be walking up it towards lane. Wise is, uh, you know, carefully farming up while he still can. But Haji doing a good job opening that map, making sure that Moba Zane is going to be located at every point of time. Victor, early rotation here. Can he punish? He gets on top of Oh My Venus for now as BTK now have priority over the turtle. This is where things are going to get interesting. Both Fried Chicken as well as Oheb making the move and Fried Chicken is going to punish him in that rotation. But First Blood already Ooh. achieved. Well done to Fried Chicken. First Blood by Razor as the rest of Blacklist International. Oh My Venus dropping down the real world manipulation. Ooh, BTK <laughs> manages to re a return Ooh. fire with a feathered air strike onto Haji. Punishing him. Here comes the Fallen Star move from Victor. Getting a lot of of good damage onto Y so far. Oh. Edward, oh, he manages to get the Daytona's welcome and kills Moma Zane in the process. Great plays from both sides. Both sides, yeah, playing it extremely, extremely well. But firstly, we gotta speak about BTK's uh, rotations there. That was beautiful. Uh, Beatrix, again, knowing that his team was in the top side, knowing that Oheb wants to join this team, he waited in the bush. He practically just caught him in the rotation. But on the other side in the 4v4, BTK played that really well, baiting oh. the real Robovision. But wait a minute, there's oh, something no. going on. Oh! What? 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 He pulled it up. He managed. Oh my goodness, the turtle being slain this time. But what a play Whoa. coming in from Fly Chicken here. Yeah. That was, he managed to switch over to Shotgun and get his ult off exactly. just in time. And you know you know the damage output of the <laughs> Shotgun, right? He saw that. He melts Oheb. Still, Oheb gets the experience advantage. At least because he was able to just uh, get the first kill. But then again, my god, Fire Chicken is 2 1 and 0, while Oheb is 1 2 and 0. This 1v1 in the bottom lane. Oh my. It's a, it's a, it's a show. Bad. It really is a show. And look at that. Fire Chicken's pressure. He gets the first BTK. turret as yeah. well, going over the side of BTK. You love to see it so far. And I think BTK is just unlocking a secondary win condition for their mm -hmm. team as Karina just needs to control that tempo. Excuse me, my bad. Can we can we talk about that more? What <laughs> half HP, my dude? Exactly. That's not. A, I am speechless right now. How did that happen? But all right, let's move on right now. Sixty seconds for the turtle. BTK. They managed to get that nine hundred gold lead here in the early phase. But oh. wait a minute, it's gonna be Haji trying up, trying to open up the map. But yes, he's gonna get zoned away. So far, BTK doing okay, but yeah. they need more than seven hundred gold with this composition. Yeah, I think so far it's just dependent on Fire Chicken to start pushing his advantage. Advantages. Now on towards that top side as well to get even more wow. gold. The macro coming out from BTK is really, oh. really good. Here comes Bennett's Rage on top of Edward. He is just stuck Red in this situation. The insta burst coming played. out from MOBA Zane's side. Blacklist International looking to play for later into yeah. the game. Fight Chicken already has got the Blade of Despair. It's actually a thousand gold ahead of Oheb. Oh. 
That is more than, more than, more than impressive. Now, he did it in the first game. He went for like the Renner as well as the uh, Biru. West Coast, the Biru as well. Sometimes he goes for the shotgun and the rocket launcher all together for more burst damage. And this is also, I, I would say Fight Chicken is more comfortable in this Beatrix more than anyone else. Because the way I see some teams pull up the Beatrix, they only focus on maybe two weapons. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. Fight Chicken takes advantage of two. Oh. Look at how oh aggressive he is. My. Whoa! I mean, I'm, I'm with you on that, Miracle. The yeah. disrespect, yeah, don't just tactically roll into that one. Like, Audrey yeah. could have looked to punish that potentially, but all right, all right. It looks like they are just conditioning Blacklist International. BTK now wanting to break open this top, uh, this top, <laughs> top tier okay. one here. Edward and Haji just giving a lot of respect. That, that's the thing, right? Uh, we haven't seen a lot of teams, a lot of players utilize that shotgun. Yeah. They usually use it for the turrets, right? It's really yeah. good at sieging, but they kind of underestimate how good it is in the in the brawls, in the yeah. duels here. Especially when you're going against someone with not that far, not that crazy range, like the Lunox, like this Cho and the Barret. You can you literally do so much damage, maybe even take a chunk of their HP with one shot. Oh. But look at this, Gideon! Oh, here comes the way of the dragon is Haji. He's not gonna take the second part of the Falling Star move, forcing him to flicker, but look at that top side. Barat still getting shot down here by Bolcher. Oh, great wall coming in from Shark. My chicken gonna get up. Plenty oh, of damage. Ooh. Daytona's welcome. Does not connect. Hachi looking for an opportunity. So oh, might be just disengages the team. Five chicken does it again. Gets the one for one trade. But Wise, he's finally online here. He's got plenty of damage. And he's going to try and secure this kill on towards Shark's side. But Victor is able to help him out. But you can see the damage coming in from Wise. He's farmed nice and healthy. Farm bill is over. And Wise is here to stay. That's the thing. That's why I mentioned VTK. They need way more than this 1,000 gold because they're going against a scaling composition that Aldous hasn't been in any fights. Sure, he was in the initial turtle fight, but since then, he's been relatively quiet on the map. And why? Because he's been farming. You can see the damage already yeah. racking up with the stacks that he has. He also has a one-level lead over Moba Zane. So this is where Blacklist likes to play when Wise gets that power spike on the Aldous. Now, Haji has got the Radiant Armor, so they are going to be tanking up. Previously, the VTK lineup, they are flourishing with their squishy targets of Blacklist International, like pickups on Omoy Venus, Haji as well as Oheb. But now that they are going to be activating both Haji Edward and Wise, those are tanky heroes that the Beatrix might not be able to, to yeah. touch. But if they do layer together, Ooh. it's going to be great. However, oh, no. Demon Hunter Sword, okay, that spells doom. I mean, that's not just it, because they sacrificed a lot of pressure on that Blue top side, and they sacrificed top destroyed. tier one off of a first macro mistake we are seeing coming in from BTK side. Blacklist International have come up online, they're like, yes, take the turtle. We can, we don't mind you doing this play because with fake chains, they can come in, uh, they come in at pretty much any time. And we're expecting Blacklist International to do exactly that right here. Edward, as well as Victor, just going head to head. They told us welcome to come out. And we already see Karina secures the turtle here so far. Fly Chicken gets the kill off towards Barat's side, but Wise gonna be running down Fly Chicken all the way into the back line. They can't seem to do anything much about the situation here as All My Venus has already used the real world manipulation. And there we go, two for one trade in favor of BTK. That actually did not go in favor of Blacklist International. I love that. You know why that happened? Gideon Wolf, BTK, they're playing it very smartly. They know Blacklist International, they want to get that AoE. They want to group up, and look at that. Victor already jumping in, and that might be the fight. Oh, here we go. Shark gets hit. By the way, of the Dragon, he flickers on forward here, but he's going to die as Oheb gets the Darkening. He's going to get some good damage onto Victor. Here comes the Feather Airstrike to disrupt from Haji. Does he find it? No, he does not. Doesn't get the third hit of G Kundo as Mo Zayn manages to walk away from the situation. Absolutely. As I was saying, again, uh, for the side of Blacklist International, their composition really relies on them grouping up as five and looking for that area of effect damage, maybe even getting the sun off to multiple members from the Barrett's. But, you know, that's the point of Blacklist. International's composition, whereas BTK, they want to isolate, they want to use the damage, maximum damage from every single member, and there's you, there, there you have it from that team. That fight was completely split forward. Uh, Wise went for the back line. All right, just let him die. Let him die. We focus on one guy first, then we get on to Wise. I, yep. al I also kind of want to point out that Moba Zane actually decided to go for the Pocket Destinies, doesn't mm -hmm. want to go for that early damage in that Calamity Reaper. Yeah. And you, that is also one of the weird things, right? I mean, I've seen in Indonesia, they prefer Karina with 
super defensive items. Yes. Oh yes, just like how, uh, just like how they. Oh! oh! I did not want to finish that sentence after see what they are able to pull wow. out here. And BTK is like weird build. <laughs> Jokes on oh. you, kids. Yeah. Blow them up in the mid lane so far. The and maybe... American sniper <laughs> again. Five chicken. He's Look. great again. Why is he stuck? Yes. I they cannot you. do it. Shark. What a oh my god! This is what I'm saying. That's why I love the Gronk BTK in the first game. How they were able to get the dub is by splitting the map, splitting the members, and isolating one by one. And that's exactly what they're doing here. Oh, uh, they're doing it one more time. Oh, trying to save the situation with the Darkness. He flickers on out of the way. They sacrifice two members. Your killing spree coming out from the side of Fry Chicken. But oh, now the kill box is here. Haji looking for the opportunity, but does not find it. Shark using the uh, making sure that he uses the wall charge to get out of there. Can't be CC'd. Well done to BTK. Oh my word. Shark as well as the rest of BTK. Look how Zia as well as White Chicken just layered all of their damage all together. Actually, it's not a layering. It's, they did it simultaneously. Oh my god, they bursted down Haji so quickly. And we're going to see it. I mean, Haji, even with, through the player caps, we saw how he just scratched his head with that. Look at this. They put it all together. Oh, oh, right at the very edge. Wow. Actually, that's just Zia's um, damage per second that ticked and, and took down Haji. But brunt of the damage came from Fried Chicken with that sniper. Oh, my goodness. He is good with that Renner. But so far, Blacklist International trying oh. to look for a punishment on towards Shark here, who manages to get on out with a wild charge. But this is going to be Lord. They've already opened up quite a bit with the neutral objectives. Currently, two uh, towers ahead of Blacklist International. National. Maybe they're looking to contest here. Victor is on his way and Blacklist International pulls back. Blacklist needs to play with their tempo. So far, BTK have been so good at just forcing their own tempo onto the enemy team. That's why they've been able to make a lot of good engages here. Blacklist, they need to stay composed. And right now, BTK, they're just using the macro so, so well. Pushing in the mid and the bottom side and forcing Blacklist to come here. So look at that. Without doing anything, they're still getting advantage on the board. And look at that. It's going to be another fight. Yep, they've already started. Oheb's getting into the middle of it. They've already stopped Zia getting him out of there. But Kratos secures the kill. The Lord has been saying, Moment's Age does not fail. Wise coming in with a chain spade. He's already got the Double kill onto Moba Zane, but Wise can't do anything about it. Trapped, stunned down, Moba Zane. Looking again, oh my Venus at the same time here. He's finally at the damage and an opportune play. Well done, Brazier getting the Purify off just in time. Feathered Air Strike to punish Haji. Here comes oh my Venus to try to stop things up. Victor happily absorbing the shield, but he doesn't want to go any further than this. Oh no, Moba Zane. He got punished for the, with the real world manipulation. Honestly, there is just not much to say about B. BTK's playstyle right now because they're simply doing everything perfectly. From the setup to the fight, the setup to the Lord, the initial fight, and the end of the fight, they played it completely perfectly. And I do want to put emphasis on Shark. This guy is always at the center of it, setting up for these team fights in the front, in the back, wherever he is, he is always in that fight and he is always doing wonders with whatever hero he is playing. Most importantly, the wall that he mm. is using. The mm. timing is always perfect. Allows for BTK to get more kills after, you know, getting enough kills in the start of the, of the clash. All right. Speaking of clash here, why is he getting hit by the Feathered Airstrike with the initial stun coming out of Zia? But that's not what they want. They want to catch Red off Blacklist International in an awkward position. Their Lord is already yep. gone, but they never broke open an inhibitor, which is, you know, testament to Blacklist International. They've got their priorities straight. Yeah. And speaking of priorities, BTK, Fight Chicken already has got the Win in nature, which was a problem for Blacklist International because for the longest time, Wise was able to run down Fire Chicken. The moment he got that win of nature, the turnaround is just so easy for Fire Chicken because all he needs to do is just to make some distance away from Wise's initiation and then deal the damage afterwards. And so far, this guy on the Beatrix, the American Sniper. So good. So, so, good. so good. Yeah. But let's talk about Moba Zane's build real quick. Calamity yeah. Reaper, Thunderbelt in the same build already? Oh. I would say he is not playing that tank Karina that we've seen from Indonesia as well as from the Philippines. Wanna bring the damage onto Blacklist International. Mm, so a bit of a hybrid, just like, yes, I've got the hybrid, stats yeah. with the HP, but I got yeah. plenty of damage at the exactly. same time. Okay, pretty yeah. interesting. The thing is, uh, from the last few patches, we've actually seen that, you know, uh, the game has just been focused on taking this Karina tank out of yep. the meta. And so far, with this high, <laughs> hybrid, yeah, right, hybrid, right. you know, semi-tank kind of build, it's been working really 
really well. You have that base damage. You also have the additional damage oh, from the Cloth of Destiny, making you able to scale a little bit more. But look at that. Oh, no. Oh, it's over. They knew they had him caught in, and now Shark will have to pay the price, unfortunately. He gets Ooh. hit by the Daytonas. Welcome here, Oheb. Shark? It's shot down. 50% HP. Shark's holding strong. Can he make it out? Nope. Haji going to have to use the way of the dragon to secure that kill. But here it comes. You know it. It's Chain. Fate wise. Look at the one shot. Ata Zia here. The victor tries his best with the falling star movement. He gets knocked out of the way. Edward making sure he's taking the brunt of that damage wise has done his duty. So this is the problem for BTK. Maybe because of the fact that they are inexperienced compared to Blacklist International, right? On a relative level. Blacklist International, when they see an opening, they just continue through it. And BTK, they try to salvage one of their members, and that's usually the pitfalls of, of teams that are inexperienced, right? When they try to save their teammates when put in a bad spot, sometimes they get one after the other be picked up by the opponents. Mm -hmm. Oh, good purify coming in from Victor here, stopping the Daytona's welcome. But he gets kicked on backwards as he tries to engage. Oh my, Venus now dropping on oh. full ultimate. Oh, the wild charge knocks him out of position. But now Victor, he dies straight away to Ohem, who is fully scaled up in towards this game. Magic penetration more than enough to get through the, uh, the Frostmoon shield. I completely agree with uh, you, Wolf, right here. Mm -hmm. For the side of Blacklist International, this is why I, I say you can never ride them out. This is the reason I actually preferred their draft in yep. that drafting phase. It's because they have that reliability to the late game. They can play to late game and they're actually stronger in that late game with all the heroes that they picked up so all they need to do is weather out the storm play it safely and now with their item power spikes with Oheb hitting it with Wise just stacking uh, all across the board again it is going to be really hard for PTK to come back from this Haji look at him yep he finds a way the dragon on towards Morbizade who instantly gets popped here as Oheb is going to sit by Oh My Venus just zoning the rest of them L Blacklist International guaranteed wow. they get the Lord Morbizade in a little bit of frustration here somebody needs to open up the map yes. for him a little bit more because Haji has set his sights on him. Let's talk about forced errors. Blacklist International with a veteran power move against BTK. So they forced out BTK out of their own base, tried to bait them into the Lord area, all the while still holding the Lord. The Lord wasn't reset. There was somebody in front of the turret outside the leash range of that Lord that was perfectly executed from Blacklist International and they got every single thing in that skirmish. Absolutely, and just like that, look at that, it was 5,000 gold lead for BTK. Instantly now, it has been turned around. It's been equalized, and that's the thing. Everything you've built up from the early stage up to this moment, it doesn't matter anymore, because Blacklist, they've had, they've gotten all their power spikes ready, not just by levels, but by items. If we can take a look at the items very, very soon, Wise has probably has all of his items. There you go, Wolf. It is all mostly complete for the carries, and this is where Blacklist starts to dominate. Yeah, I'm, I'm just looking at Oheb and he's just like, he is fully kitted out to start shredding here. Here comes Luminous Lord. He's going to be crashing into the area. The real world manipulation for Oh My Venus to try and zone out Fried Chicken. Haji finds Mobazay again. Feathered Airstrike not able to respond in time as they need to get rid of this Luminous Lord. Tier 2 on bottom side is safe. However, mid is in some trouble here. Can they clear out the minions in time to protect their inhibitor? No, they cannot. Edward does get the initial damage. Ooh. Welcome flickers over the wall to secure this kill on towards Victor. That's going to be two for nothing. Two inhibitors as well. And Wise will oh. put the killing blow into Zio. Ooh, Winter trying to protect himself, but Haji is going to help secure that kill. Shot can't do anything. As we see, Fly Chicken can only do so much. GG, well played to Blacklist International. That's the thing right now with the composition of Blacklist International. They just they're multi-dimensional, like we mentioned, right? They can play to the late game. They can play with defense. They can play it aggressively as well if they get the snowball initially. But that is why I really like their draft. In every circumstance, in every position, they can still, you know, still stay in the